Hi guys, still eating lunch today. I tried this aloo kofta curry today and wanted to share this recipe with you. But before that, let me finish my lunch. Let's make the koftas first. I'm going to make it in a little different way. Instead of using mashed potatoes, I'm going to use the whole potato as the kofta. For that, boil the potatoes in salt water for 7 to 8 minutes. I need them like 80% cooked. Just poke a knife or a skewer and check on them. Peel the boiled potatoes and then I'm going to cut a thick slice. And I'm going to leave a border and scoop out all the potato from the center. So just make random strokes and scoop it out. Hold the potato firmly, otherwise it might just break while scooping. Make a nice big depression. Same way, I'm also going to scoop this slice a little bit. So I have the scooped potato ready. All the potatoes are scooped and ready. Now let's make the filling. To the scoop mash, I'm going to add carrot, French beans, all these vegetables are steamed and some green peas. Finely chopped green chilies, salt and a little bit of coriander leaves. Just mix all these ingredients properly and mash it a little bit, especially the green peas or big chunks of potatoes. And the filling is ready. I'm going to take a scoop potato and I'm going to fill this filling into it in the level of the potato. I'm also going to take the slice and fill a little bit of the filling into this depression. I'm going to join the two of them, press on it properly, take a toothpick and poke it inside so that both the pieces are joined. In this way, prepare all your potatoes. The potato koftas are ready. Now let's try them. With the toothpick, I'm going to put them in the oil. Just flash fry them for 2 minutes, just till you get some colour. Let's get them out and let them cool down. If you don't want to make the koftas in this way, you can always mash the potatoes, add salt and corn flour, make the filling and fill it in and make it into round balls and fry them. Now let's make the masala paste for the gravy. Chopped onions, garlic cloves, ginger, cashew nuts, garam masala, red chilli powder, coriander cumin seed powder, cumin seed powder. Let's grind this into a smooth paste. Let's check on this. And the masala paste is ready. It's time to make the curry. I'm going to heat a tablespoon and a half of ghee or clarified butter. Once the ghee is hot, I'm going to add the cinnamon, cloves and cardamom. After a few seconds, I'm going to add the onion paste. Saute the onion paste for at least 5 minutes. The onion paste is nicely cooked and it's also dried out. And now I'm going to add the tomato puree. Mix this well. We'll also add the sugar. Cook the tomato puree for at least 6 to 7 minutes. The tomato puree is dried out and now I'm going to add some homemade cream or you can even add single cream. Let it cook through. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Let's add some coriander leaves, salt. It needs a little more water because it's going to dry as it cools down. Crush some kasuri methi in your palms and add it to the curry. It's optional, so if you have it handy, you can add it. It smells so good. We're not going to waste the leftover filling of the kofta. We're going to add it in the gravy, so let's do that. So we have some vegetables in the gravy as well. You can make the curry and fry the koftas and keep them. Whenever you're ready to serve, warm up the curry and pour it on the kofta and it's ready to serve. Remove the toothpicks from the potatoes carefully before assembling the koftas and the curry. Pour the curry over the koftas. This kofta curry goes very well with all the Indian flatbreads or even rice. This is a very mildly flavoured curry with a hint of sweetness. I'm sure you're craving to try this at home, so do that fast and let us know how it turned out. 
Hit the subscribe button and see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.